Hey guys, it is Michelle, and today we are talking about my project pan, which we're gonna do these differently next time. I wanna do another one right after this. Um, just because I feel like we didn't, like I did an update briefly. Um, I don't know if you guys would like to see a monthly update, Instagram updates, or should I do it on the community page here? I definitely think I wanna update you guys more on these project pans. Um, Cause I kinda felt like this was, here's one video, we did a quick talk and now we're here at the end. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, I just, I didn't like the way it flowed, you know what I'm saying? So, I want the next project pan, um, to be a little bit more interactive. I think, I love watching project pans and seeing, like, the actual, um, how far we're going through the products. So, I think that's what we're gonna do instead of, um, like, doing it every few months. Like, I wanna do another, like, we're at, we're in June, so we're halfway through the year. So let's do like a three month or next time, but maybe like every two weeks we'll do an update or maybe every month we'll do an update. Something along those lines. Comment down below your thoughts on this. Um, just because I love doing project pans, I love watching other people do project pans, but I feel like we had like, here's what we're project panning, my talk midway, and now we're going over it at the end. And I'm just like, nah. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do more posts on my project pan through Instagram. Um, so definitely follow me on there. It's Michelle Calypso. So follow me on there. And, um, so yeah, follow, I, and I'm going to do a more on the community board here on YouTube as well. Cause I know a lot of people in the YouTube community community do love project pan. So I think that's what we're going to do is going to be doing updates through the community more and using that more. It's been a goal of mine to use the community page more, but I haven't done it obviously. But, um, starting with project pan, I think we're going to start, but anyway, so we had 15 items, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 items. So what I'm going to do is in the order that they're written is the order I'm going to go down through and see if we were successful or not and my feelings on the products. Because um, there are some serious feelings about a lot of these products. So let's get going. The first one is my single-use brush cleaner. So I got this for Christmas for, as a gift. So this was from Ulta. Individually packed for on-the-go use, sweet and shimmer brush cleaning count, and there was 10 of these. So we finished them up. I kept the packaging just because I wanted to prove to you that I didn't, like, take them out. Like, you know, they're used. I mean, not that anybody, like, would think otherwise, but you know what I mean. So, and I got my little bag to put the stuff in afterwards. So, anyway, I used these. Now, I don't know if it's because they were old. Well, they weren't old. They were a year old. Um, these were actually really dry and they didn't really do the best job at cleaning my brushes. I weekly will clean my brushes. Um, I have, um, Johnson baby shampoo. I know, I know guys. Some people will be like, oh, don't do that. But I use Johnson baby shampoo once a week. And then what I do is I do have makeup wipes or I'll use my Marcel water on my little pads and I will just like clean the brushes off that way. This, I wouldn't, uh, this was like a Christmas item. I wouldn't waste my money on this um but i like the idea of it in theory but um you know we had pandemic nobody was traveling these weren't for on the go i don't bring my brushes with me unless i'm on vacation this was just i used it 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 was okay you know they they kind of did it but not really um next is my peppermint gloss now i did use this but it is still pretty full i I'm more of a lipstick girl, but I was using this gloss more at work. Um, I do love it, and it's bittersweet to use this up. There is quite a bit of product left in here. I'm going to continue to use it. I just love that little pop of peppermint, and there's glitter in here. So this is going to be, like, continuing with the project pan. It's going to be hard to show because, like, this packaging on it, you really can't see it. But um, we're going to continue with this. I know this is going to take some time because this thing is, he's pretty fat. I've been using this for quite some time and there is a lot of product in here. I mean, like, I, there's definitely a lot of product. I love this stuff. I really wish that Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret still had the little juice plumpers. But now that lip gloss is becoming a thing again, maybe they'll get these back in because I love these things. Next is the Moonstone Scalp Scrub. Oh, let's talk. So, here is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Activated Bamboo Activated Bamboo Charcoal and Purple Moonstone Restore and Reclaim 
scalp scrub. This sounds great to me. You know your girl loves to exfoliate and is like, now they make, why haven't, and I'm thinking, why haven't I seen a product like this before? Oh, there's many reasons why you don't see products like this. And now I know why. This was on clearance when I bought it. Or on sale. I don't even think that, um, I think I got it through Ulta. I don't think they carry this anymore. And there's a good reason. So, it says that it is made. It's a pre-wash scalp exfoliant to help clarify and remove buildup. Now, there's beads in here that are supposed to be made, hold on. Natural jujuba wax beads that works to detoxify and cleanse the scalp while absorbing impurities for a balanced pH. It sounds beautiful. Now these little things, I'm not going to lie, it smells great. So I used half of it. Now this is what it looks like in there, you see that? You got these black and white pebble things, okay? These things are a pain, okay? They don't really exfoliate, number one. And being that they were supposed to, like, be a wax or exfoliate, I don't think these things really are. Because they don't melt. Like, I had tried this in the shower, and you can't get them all out. I got very thick hair, as you guys know, so that could be part of my issue here. But I kept finding them in my hair, and I was so annoyed. So flippin' annoyed. And I, you use this before you shampoo and condition. I double shampooed, okay? I even double conditioned to make sure I got all this crap out. Nope. I, I kept finding, like, tons of these things. Now, again, I have super, super thick hair, so that could have been all on me. If you have thin hair or your hair isn't as thick as mine, maybe you get different results. But the fact that I couldn't get this crap out really annoyed me. So, and I, I did it in a shower, and I also tried it in the bathtub thing. Like, if I got some really, really hot water, maybe they would just, like, melt out. No, these things do not melt. Wax, I don't know what kind of wax they are. They gotta be plastic or something like that. Because I use, like, the hottest water I can get just to see if these would melt one day. They don't go nowhere. So then, um, one of you guys recommended, let's try it as a scrub. I'm like, you know what? I like that idea. Why not? I mean, if these things are so difficult to get out of my hair... And obviously when I try putting them under hot water, they don't go anywhere. Let's try it as a scrub. Oh, hoo -hoo, a big mistake. No. Nope, 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 nope. So I tried to use it as a scrub and stuff. And I was in a tub. I was like doing my pamper day, you know. Girls, you know, there's like different levels of shower. You do your quick shower, your medium shower, where you just like get your hair and everything. And then there's the deep shower where like you're shaving head to toe, where you're doing everything, doing the detail. You're, it's, you know what I mean, girls. You know. So it was one of those, the big, deep, you know. So I figured I'd use this instead of my typical exfoliant that I like to use. So the problem is, again, with the beads. Now, I washed off and everything. I even showered afterwards. The beads stick to everything. It's almost like set a cling everywhere. I was like, we are never, ever, ever, ever doing that again. Now, normally, if I don't like a product, I would ask a friend of mine if they would like to try it. This thing's going straight in the trash. Nobody should have to suffer this. So... If you see this and you think it's a good idea, please don't. It is not a good idea. In theory, it's a good idea. It is not actually a good idea. I don't think they even are selling it anymore. I hope they don't. It smells great. I thought I was going to love it. Nope, nope, and nope. I couldn't wait to throw that out. Oh my god. So bad. Do not do it. So the next item on the list is my Jeffree Star... Um, liquid velour lip in the color hunty so i did use this up even though it doesn't look it um there was no more product left in there but um the main reason oh it's such a mess the main reason why is i love jeffrey's liquid lips i think that um their staying power is amazing it takes a lot to take them off um love 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 this product my problem was this particular color i felt washed me out i would always have to put something over it like a lip gloss or something else i was i sometimes like using um eyeshadows to kind of like add to it or some shimmers then i liked it but hunty is just not a color for me it doesn't work with my skin tone like in the packaging it looks like it would it's got a yellow undertone in it and um, I have pink undertones in my skin. It just doesn't work. That's why I don't. you don't see me wearing yellows or oranges. Or if you do, it's like incorporated into something where it's not the main color of my outfit. Um, it just washes me out. It just doesn't work for my skin tone. And that's okay. Um, that's just how it is. Some people can pull out different colors because of what undertones we have. And this hunty is not one of those things. So I did use it with like, like I said, I would put things on top of it just to like bring out some more pinks into it. But... 
Um, like I said, love the formula. I just didn't love the color. So, um, but this was great and used it up. I was very happy. That took for a, a, a long time to use up. So as far as like lip products, I didn't do too great, but um, that one I was very, very excited for. Okay, so the next one is by Boxum and it is this creamy shadow. And I've had this forever, guys. So I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to actually talk about it in this video. Um, you know, let's just do another video. We're gonna do a part two, guys, because I really want to give each of these products the um, the amount of time that they fully deserve. I don't want to rush like, oh, this is this is this. We're not gonna do that. So if you guys love Project Pans, come back for part two because we got a lot to talk about, guys. I'll be right back. Bye.